I was among a group of people who met with the president February 6th of this year. And at the time, um, I was very impressed by what he said, and he promised us swift and sure justice. During the meeting, the president told the group that he had not made a decision on whether Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and other 9-11 terrorists would be taken out of the military commission's process and tried in a civilian court. Having said at the time he had not determined yet whether he was going to put, it, put this in, uh, take this out of the hands of the military commission, I, uh, I think that essentially he lied to us, um, li lied repeatedly. Uh, on, on major pertinent points. Number one, that he hadn't made already the decision to transfer this to civil courts. I'm pretty confident in saying that this man is a liar. And eight years later, the memory of his son is with him every day. You know, you can look for cliches like there's a cloud in the sky all the time or something like that, like the Santa songs, but that, that, doesn't, that, that doesn't do it justice. I mean, there's, um, you know, I guess the heaviness in the heart and you just can't, uh, you know, there's no getting away from it, and there never will be. So let me get this straight. Nothing can change how you feel. Nothing. <clears throat> You're always going to feel the same way. So what the fuck are you bitching about? <clears throat> if it's not going to make any kind of real difference to you, I guess, what, you're going to use your son's death as some reason to get on Fox News, get some airtime, uh, rail against Obama, because, you know, it wasn't like Bush was the president when 9-11 happened. It wasn't like Bush had, like, you know, seven years after 9-11 to do things, you know, to try these men or anything like that, right? It just happens to be now. Now that it's a Democratic president, a liberal, a black man, now you've, you've found someone to blame. you Fucking sorry piece of shit. And welcome back to the special edition of Hannity Terror on Trial. We go now to Peter Gadiel, who was just featured in that piece that you just saw. Peter, thank you uh, for being with us. And, and first off, like so many here who have lost family members, your son was 23 three years old. And you think the president lied to you? I think he lied to us, and I think uh, that he has an alarming history of, uh, of helping terrorists. Yet again, I'm going to have to ask you, have you ever heard about the relationship between the Bush family and the Bin Laden family? You want to talk about you scratch your back and I'll scratch yours with the fucking terrorists? Look into some fucking Bush facts. I'll supply a link right here. But let's hear your evidence for why you think Obama has been helping out terrorists. So I think uh, he and his administration, do. there was uh, Holder's dismissal of the uh, charges against the Black Panthers in Philadelphia, his involvement in, in the commutation of the sentence of the Puerto Rican terrorists. Obama refused to denounce the Iranian government when it was shooting pro-democracy demonstrators. And now there's this where he provides this forum for the terrorists and the ACLU to spew their hatred. All right, so let's ignore the examples there where he calls the Black Panthers terrorists and where he calls Puerto Ricans terrorists. Uh, let, let's ignore his obvious racism. Let's concentrate on that last little part where he's talking about uh, giving people a platform to spew their hatred. Holy fucking irony. Talk about some motherfucking irony. How about Fox motherfucking news? How about you spewing your hatred for Obama on Fox News while talking about the platform that other people, that Obama and others use to give the ACLU an opportunity to spew their hatred? What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Do, do conservatives not own mirrors? I'm just fucking curious because... It's like they never look at themselves in a motherfucking mirror. Do you not understand hypocrisy or irony? Conservatives treat liberals the way that they think liberals treat conservatives. It's really fucking hilarious. And, and the whole time, they, they've got this hoity-toity, holier-than-thou, like, we know better than you kind of bullshit. It's fucking revolting. It may be pushing the envelope a little bit, but I, I wonder, you know, the Constitution has uh, provisions for people who aid, provide aid and comfort for the enemy. And I just, uh, there's no exemption for high officials, including the President and the Attorney General. I just wonder when, um, uh, when it will be that people would, will decide, or will there be people around who will be willing to point fingers if he crosses the line, and when does he cross the line? This, this guy, I'm sorry, but he's fucking retarded. He's sitting there in a room full of people while he's pointing fingers and all these other people are just dying to point their fingers, too. They just want to be like, oh, fucking Obama, you're a fucking traitor. We're going to fucking hang you, nigger. 
we're gonna fucking take a rope, throw it over the branch of the tree out back, and we're gonna fucking lynch your ass. Huh? How you like that, boy? How you like that, little boy? You know, this is, it's fucking sickening that, you know, it's almost 2010, and we have these retards just running rampant, and, and they totally think they're the good guys. This, you know, I guarantee this is a good, good man. He's worked hard, and he goes to church, and he's such a good guy, and he's a good father, and he lost his son, and oh, boo-hoo, and so that gives him a, a reason, an excuse to be a hypocritical, hate-filled sack of shit. Well, let me ask for a show of hands once again. How many of you, show of hands, hi, if you can, how many of you agree with what Peter just said? Yeah. Well, I turn around. <laughs> Only one disagreeer. I wonder if people will join me in pointing fingers at Obama and calling him a traitor. Oh, wait a second, I'm in the fucking Fox studio. Of course, there's a fucking room full of people that agree with me. I could fucking say, like, kill niggers, and I bet you half the people in this fucking place would agree with me. Hey, Fox News uh, studio audience, uh, raise your hand if you're black. Oh, none of you? R raise your hand if you're liberal or Democrat. Hmm, none of you, huh? Fucking fair and balanced, huh? Hmm. You Fox News guys, you fucking, you got that fair and balanced shit down, huh? Fair and balanced, if you're a white Republican conservative that agrees with the shit we spew, huh, uh, don't forget, you gotta be Christian, too. You, again, but we say, and we only have, we have a few minutes here, so I wanted to maybe get your reaction and maybe give some of you, some of you lost family members. And one of the, wor the worst attack in American history after Pearl Harbor, or Pearl Harbor in, in, in this, the worst attacks in American history. What do you want to say to the president? Yes, what, what would you like to say to the president? The president we have currently, that was not president during Pearl Harbor or 9-11. What, what would you like to say to him? What would, how, how, would you like to blame him? How about we blame Obama for the fucking Japanese like internment camps that were in the U.S.? Huh? Huh? How about that? I mean, fuck it. Why not? Why not? Just blame the fucker for everything, dude. I mean, look, I don't have my nose up Obama's ass. I think he's fucking up. I think he could do a lot better for the fucking liberals and progressives. And he's not. He's being bent over by the conservatives and Republicans. And, you know, he's just fucking lame, to be quite fucking honest with you. But at the same time, I'm not going to go around and blame everything on the motherfucker. Hey, if I did, I would have to call myself a conservative. And I'd probably get my own show on Fox News. Yes, ma'am. My sister Lorraine, and um, I want the president and the American people have to wake up. Not only is the president living with a non a pre-9-11 mentality, but the American people are once again sitting back and allowing this to happen. We have to stand up, and we have to say, never again. You dumb bitch. This pre-9-11 mentality you're talking about is called being an American. You're supposed to just... Americans aren't supposed to be scared. You're supposed to be brave and proud and all this shit. If you want to live in fucking fear 24-7, then go ahead. I suggest you stay out of your car. Don't drive anywhere. Because you were a million times more likely to have gotten in a car accident and died on the way to your fucking little Fox News studio audience bullshit that you're at right now than you are of a terrorist hijacking a plane and flying that plane into the building where you're sitting right now, dumb fuck. You hear John Lehman. John Lehman is saying, anybody else want to speak? You just raise your hand. John Lehman just said, hey, we're not listening to what they told us. We spent all this money on a commission report. We're not listening to it. I'm here today representing my son, Bill Godchuk, who was murdered in Tower 2. Yep, it's pure coincidence that three people in the front row, the first three to be asked a question or, or allowed to speak, all had family members that died in 9-11. Sure, these people really had family members that died in 9-11, but these are also, I guarantee you, are not liberals. They're not people that like Obama. They went out and they found people who had had family members that died 9-11, that are conservative, that didn't really care much when Bush was there. When it was when Bush was in office, it was just like, wave your flag. If you say anything against America, you're not waving your flag. You're not American. Fuck you. Bush is out of office, so let's blame the black president. That's all it is. For the past eight years, I've tried to be an activist, doing what I think he would have done, because he was very active. He loved New York. He would be so against bringing this circus to New York 
it's going to turn our city into a compound. Really? It is? It's going to turn New York into a compound? Where'd you hear that? It wouldn't be by any chance, uh, like, from Fox News, maybe even fucking Hannity show. Well, I don't know, you know. Fox News never does their fear-mongering bullshit, though, right? I mean... This is going to hurt New York worse than 9-11. Says it all.